Okay, here you have it. We've got the old dump truck that has been repainted. I don't know what else has been done to this thing, but you can see that it is terrible. And uh, I thought, you know, let's have some fun. So, I've got the Griot's boss system. This truck's not even been washed. So we're going to do a severe duty test. We're going to see how well this stuff works on severe conditions. So let's get to it. Let's see if I can get this camera set up to where you can kind of see what's going on. I'm a complete amateur at this. So I figured this truck would be a great thing. I need to probably stay away from this where the paint's gouged. So I don't even want to use my good rags. So we're going to use some speed shine. Because they say it'll clean a vehicle, right? Okay. Let's give it one more coat, why not? All right, so that's what Speed Shine will do for you. You can see it's drying. You can see what it looks like over there. Um, Ooh, looking pretty bad under there, but, uh, all right, so we've cleaned it, right? Sure. We're going to use the Griot's Fast Correcting Cream. This is a heavy cutting pad. So... We'll butter this pad. Again, I'm a total amateur. I have no idea what I'm doing. So. They say work in a two by two section. It's pretty much what we got. Let's go up here because it's vibrating. Let's make sure that you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah. All right, hope that won't vibrate as bad up here. Looks like a decent vantage point. Crank the speed up.
I think it's cutting. Let's go ahead and let's do a little more. Why not, right? Seeing the color of this thing, <clears throat> I'm not really sure I wanted to do this. It looks like whoever painted this was attempting to have a General E. For all you Dukes fans out there. So this is a heavy polishing pad. Hex Logic. What is this from the, uh, this is what I'm using. So I think it's chemical guys. Anyway, it's made in the USA. Let's, let's just follow up. We already used fast correcting cream. How about let's use, how about let's use some perfecting cream. Buttered up, turn our power down, spread it out. Let's crank the power up.
think we're still cutting. Hope I didn't damage the clear coat. I'm just joking. Pretty sure there's not a clear coat left. Maybe there never was one. Who knows? All right. Now, let's just go ahead and let's apply some finishing sealant. So, I don't really even want to mess up another pad. So, I guess we're going to do a mix. We're going to do a mix of perfecting cream and finishing sealant because there's still some perfecting cream on this pad so I'll tell you what like I said I'm just an amateur let's just dab some of this off why not so there's not as much left now now let's use some of the sealant It's time to crank the power up. Alright guys, this is what we've got left. This is where we started. Had a little splatter. We ended up with this. Let's see if I can maybe buff this a little more. So, pretty significant difference. Let's uh, let's do a little quick test. Let's see if that sealant actually works on this. All right, guys, here's the test. I know my YouTube. I know you guys love the water beating test, and you know who you are. I'm using the uh, Benford 2000 water nozzle. Let's see if the griots will bead the water. Oh, you guys spray it hard, right? That's how you guys deal with the pressure nozzle. All right, I see some streaks at least. Let's look over here. Oh, man, it looks like Grios is winning this test. Tell you what, let's go a little further. Let's get down here and let's look at this beating action up close. See what you got there now let's take this old dirty diaper let's wipe this down 
Let's get it good and dry. Okay. All right, we got it dry. Yeah, for good measure, let's let's go one more time. Oh boy, that feels slick under there. It really does. That's no joke. How about let's add some ceramic to this thing? Three in one. Let's shake it up. Let's spray it on. Probably use too much. Grios recommends you not use too much. So, uh, all right, now we're gonna just buff this off. Using my special Kirkland signature towels for this job. Guys, I can tell you that that is way smoother. But, you know, none of that matters if it doesn't bead the water. So let's try it now. Holy mackerel. Does the Griot system work? You tell me. Let's look at it without. Beautiful. Oh wow. What about that? That's a crazy, crazy stuff there. Man, I feel like I've got a new truck. Maybe I'll do the rest of it, who knows. But uh, there you go, Griot's boss system. Nothing special about my technique. No clear coat. I don't recommend you doing it like this on a clear coat car. I can't speak clear coat car. So try to say that really fast, but the results speak for themselves. Here's the after. There's the before. All right. See you guys on the next video.